Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have a new Emblem Hero announced, Celica. Uh, fun fact, I thought it was going to be Sigurd. It's not. <laughs> uh, I am curious what color uh, she's going to turn out to be, because uh, when, I, when I think of Celica options, I always think of, like, green uh, or red, and I don't think either of those were very good options. Uh, this month, blue is pretty open, uh, given Sita's involvement in Hall of Forms. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's a blue tome Celica. Maybe maybe we're living a different life. Uh, I don't know, but I do imagine she's going to uh, open up some kind of like crazy amount of warping capability, uh, because that is what Emblem Celica did in Engage. So, let's find out what she does. Please don't make the game any less enjoyable than it is already. <laughs> That's my hope. Please reach out to me if anything troubles you. Yeah. I want to be of service with or without my emblem ring. She is a blue tome. Okay. All right. Uh so in that case, we are probably looking at uh at least one attuned hero on that banner uh, alongside her. So maybe two. Ever onward. Bro, that's a lot. <laughs> that is that is some warping nonsense. Oh no. Uh, okay, carrying magic is the weapon, and it's short. Oh dear God, it's short. Why is it short? Uh, carrying magic, uh, you got slaying. If you initiates combaters within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus 60 unit, grants bonus units attack speed equal 20% of unit speed at the start of combat, deals damage equal 20% of unit speed, uh, neutralizes bonus to speed res, and grants special cooldown count minus one unit before uh, unit's first follow up attack during combat. So basically, she's going to get uh, on a two turn special. Or two cooldown special, she's gonna end up just getting it automatically between the built-in slaying and any additional cooldown from her weapon uh description here. Uh and then if also if units uh, if unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before foe's next attack. So we also get desperation. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Uh Warp Ragnarok is new. It boosts special damage by 25% of units attack. I'm hoping this is I'm hoping this is not inheritable. I'm really hoping this is not inheritable. Uh, Enoch can move through foes' spaces. Oh god, it's going to be inheritable, isn't it? Oh no. For each foe within six spaces of Enoch, you can move to the nearest space that are two spaces away from that foe unless space is impassable terrain. At start of turn, if special cooldown count is at its max value, grant special cooldown count minus one. Okay. Uh, so really, she... I mean, she's always going to be proccing that. Like, that is that is just a given at this point. Um, ooh. <laughs> Movement built into the special. That is wild. Uh, Verge of Death is her A skill. Uh, which we've seen before. It's like... Okay. Uh, it's like new, new, newest, baddest life and death, right? The newest and baddest. Uh, Resonance 4, that is inheritable. Uh, deals damage to unit as combat begins equals to 20% of X. X equals units max HP before entering the battle minus 20. So it's HP based. Interesting. Max HP before entering battle means units max HP excluding HP increases from legendary effects, mythic effects, bonus heroes, etc. Activates only when unit can attack uh, in combat. Effects that reduce damage during combat uh, do not apply, will not reduce units HP below 1. You're also going to inflict speed res minus 4 on foe during combat. This has to be infantry locked, right? It's got, it, they have to infantry lock this. They infantry lock all the good tome skills, right? That has to. Uh, unit deals damage equal to units HP at the start of combat. 
uh, minus current HP times two during combat, max of 12, minimum of six, excluding AoE specials, and reduces the percentage of foes non-special reduced damage by X percent skills uh, by percentage equal to units HP at the start of combat, uh, minus the current HP times 10 during combat, max of 60, minimum of 30, uh, excluding AoE specials. So... I mean, if it's not infantry locked, that's going to be a nice way for units to get true damage off. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be tome locked. Um, but that's going to be really nice. That's going to be very nice. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Um, my head is spinning with all of the things that all of the units that I have that want that, that I want to build. And if it's not infantry locked, that might actually be a really good skill for uh, Summer Goldfig, whom I have now. Yeah. Uh, infantry Null Follow 4 is the C skill, and then the Emblem Effect, Enhanced Engage Special. Boost special damage by units, max special cooldown count. Value times four, excluding AoE specials. Uh, for each foe within five spaces of unit, unit can move to the nearest spaces that are within unit's range from that foe. Yep. Unless there's impassable terrain. So there's been a lot of discussion lately about ranged gale force, right? Uh, and about, you know, are we concerned about the amount of damage that they're going to be able to do? I feel as though, while not necessarily tailoring to Gale Force units, uh, this is a way for what seems to be at least ranged magic options to do damage without uh, having to worry about AoE specials. Call me crazy. Uh, but I think that's what this is kind of tailoring to, and I like that, because more options is always better, right? Uh, <laughs> as someone who has a lot of ranged magic options at their disposal. Uh, yeah, this, this looks great. This looks great. Uh, the emblem effect is, is solid. Love that. Within six spaces. Bro, oh, that's crazy. So really, you can just get a special nuke anywhere on the map now. Which is wild. Well. 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 That. And again. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can see the values aren't that high. But when you couple in the fact that she gets desperation instantly. Uh, <laughs> you know, that factors into... Oh, cannon! It's cannon! We love that. We love that a lot. <laughs> Saline getting the Celica ring. I love that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now that's obviously gonna do more damage, but you know the point is that it's it's tailoring towards not using AOE specials for ranged nukes, uh, which is nice. Xander, poor Xander, man. So everything else pretty much as expected, I think. Uh, there's Ivy, there's Rosado, there's Merrick. Uh, I still see them. Interesting. Okay. So, if you want my my quick and painless analysis here, don't even bother with green. Uh, red is very hit or miss, depending on the account. Literally do not bother with green. Colorless, again, just do not bother with colorless. All of those units within a year are looking at remix pool potential. Assuming, of course, that they don't just create three remix banners per run, 
uh, which I think they may end up doing in August. So, for what that's worth. Uh, Cullis, again, for the payoff that you would get for having those units now, it's not worth it. That's how I feel about green, too, outside of, like, maybe Merrick? Perhaps? Uh, but he'll show up on a New Heroes banner. Like a return banner type situation. New Heroes return. Uh, where, you know, the odds and the color shares may be more favorable. Because, like, Xander... <laughs> Sorry, Xander fans. He's not He's not good. Okay. Uh, and, I mean, Rosado's there, too. But, again... Rosado's bound to come back on like a revival banner or something like that. Just give it time. Uh, blue is the only good thing here, in my opinion. Like, literally it. Uh, and even, like, one strong color option is not enough to save an entire banner, in my opinion. Um, you are much better off waiting, at least, at minimum, to see what happens in July. Because this banner will be running for a while. But blue options themselves are very good. Uh, it will be running until the 12th of July. So this is going to be like a two-week banner. Okay. You will have Summer Part 2 out by then. Summer Part 2 comes out like the first week in July. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, Celica is good. I think she has a lot of promise. Uh, uh, however, the two that she's color sharing with, um, those two are going to be back on things like New Heroes Return. Uh, Legendary Remix banners. Probably their own Forging Bonds revivals, right? So, in terms of dealing with a 1 in 3, if you don't care which one you get, it's pretty much a no-brainer. The rates are up. Uh, so long as you actually get blue stones to summon on, you're in good shape. However, if you're trying to snipe any of these, it's still a 1 in 3. So if you're going after one of the attuned options in, like, specifically, legendary banners are not great for that. But, like I said, if you don't want to wait until the new heroes returns, uh, if you don't want to wait for them to show up on a remix, something like that, uh, even a skills banner, honestly, they could show up on a skills banner at this point. Uh, take that for, for what it is. But blue is quite good. That said, I still think this banner is like a 4 or a 5. Because uh, it, it's not out of 10. <laughs> Sorry, I should specify. It's like a 4 or 5 out of 10. Uh, you know, it's it's 3 out of 12. It's 3 pretty good options. Out of 12. It's midsummer, man. Brave Heroes are coming up in August. Bookend is happening in November. I mean... Sure. Uh, yeah. If you want to know when Silic is coming back, I will have that on the Hero Tracker. And I'm also hoping to have the full Hero Tracker expanded... Uh, to include things like Hall of Form candidates, which I kind of notate now. Uh, special, double specials, stuff like that. Uh, maybe even New Heroes Return, if I can kind of figure out a pattern that that shows up with. I'm going to try and put that all in one big video at the end of the month, like I've been wanting to. Uh, so if you're interested in any of that, look forward to that on, I think, Friday is when the spanner drops. Uh, I think I'll be summoning on it. But really exclusively sniping blue. Which is not a smart thing to do. <laughs> but a spark is a spark, I guess, if you're in the position of having Fey Pass and all that. Uh, so those are my thoughts. I hope they were helpful. Uh, if they were, cool. I've, I've done my job. Subscribe or like the video or something out of appreciation. Uh, or you can become a member for 99 cents. That's also a thing. You know, what a... <laughs> Viewer's choice. Uh, that's it for me, though. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna get this out to you, and I will see you in the next one.